Welcome, Warhawk Nation, to another exciting episode of our Coffee with Coach podcast. I'm your host, Coach Zerman, and I'm thrilled to be here today to celebrate our incredible community, school spirit, and outstanding teachers that make our school a great place to learn and call home. Today, we have the privilege to have Hunter Smalls Meisenhelder join us to share some highlights on his career at Wyoiga Fremont as a Warhawk. So before we dive into this, young man, tell us a little bit about yourselves. Like, first off, let's dive into your nickname. It's Smalls. I yeah. I can only assume it's from the movie Sandlot. It's, yeah, uh, Junior Pee Wee. No, Pee Wee. I was the smallest kid on the team. Still are. People might say that. <laughs> uh, my dad was just calling me Smalls since he is one of your favorite movies, Sandlot. He's calling me Smalls. We go to practice. And it, it flips out. He calls me Smalls to the Hunter. And coaches loved it. Everybody else loved it. Just stuck. Been with me for the last 10 years. I mean, I love it too. I just, you don't have a chance with Wendy Peppercorn. I'll tell you that <laughs> right now. You're not even on deck. So, But, hey, you got a great personality, so that's something cool. Um, but tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, you know, why we go Fremont? Were you here A to Z? But definitely all through your entire high school career, right? High school came. I was at Wapaka until third grade. So you upgraded in third grade. Everyone's like, upgraded. whoa. I'm in Wapaka, need to get out, time to upgrade. Way Wyoming too to crazy. Yep, okay, I heard that. All right, so you're here third grade and on. What is your favorite place to eat in Wyoming, Fremont? Favorite place has got to be the Hotel Fremont. Okay. Pancakes. Pan- got- We're ordering pancakes. Pancakes has got to be best pancakes there. You can get the strawberries, whipped cream on top. I mean, I might take that over any burger. Really? Yeah, I can think. I can think of. This is the first time I'm hearing of breakfast at Hotel Fremont. I just love how no one tells me any of these hidden gems until we're on a podcast. So I, I dig that. I'm not a fruit guy, but I can see you ordering like the strawberries. Get yourself a little chocolate milk. Yep. Yeah, I can see have you doing to, that. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite color? That's always a good one. Favorite color? It was blue when I was younger because I was at Wapaka. Yep. So it's kind of kind of like that. You know, kids make mistakes. <laughs> But after I get in Wyoiga, I would get, my dad was getting stuff for, uh, for sports, so Wyoiga Fremont, all that red, so I'm going to have to go with uh, the Warhawk red. That's going to be my favorite one. Okay. I, you know what? I, I'll double down on that. I would have to agree with you. I mean, and red actually makes it look like you have muscles too, so it's, <laughs> it's solid. What is like a, a hidden talent you may have that you just want to let Wyoiga Fremont know, like, hey, I'm, I'm more than just a Warhawk. Here's a little snippet about myself. Coming out as the greatest darts player. It's greatest. In high school. Oh, wow. Right now. Okay. All right. So are you like a 201 guy or you just crush cricket? If if, if someone puts cricket on the board, they're not beating me. They I, could slip over me a 301 because I might miss I might miss a little two up there. But ooh, I I don't know. My buddy Griffey, we've, we put a lot of time on the cricket board. But okay. All right. Do you have a partner or you just go solo? If I had to pick a partner, it would be my mom because... She, she knows my game, so if I mess up, she knows. She gives me those little hints. <laughs> so she hits bullseyes. Yeah, yeah. she hits the bullseyes yeah. low 20s. Okay, I, I, I can understand that. All right, so let's kick things off with some shout-outs to our amazing community. Smalls, what are some positive things you notice that happen within our community? Or, or even let's unpack that a little bit. Like, what's some things you're probably going to miss? Because, I mean, you're a senior. You're, you're on the out clock. You're, you're bouncing out of here. So give me a little bit of, like, what you're going to miss about Wild League of Fremont. Uh, so when I came here in the fourth grade, uh, you know, we went to school, I was nervous, had to get, make, make some new friends, but as soon as I came here, I was in sports, so I knew a couple of guys, and I immediately just blended in with everybody. I mean, I became friends with everybody, everyone's super close, and it's been like that all the way throughout middle school, throughout high school. I love that, know everybody, everyone's friends, you know, I want to hang out, I got 10 people asking me to go do something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's definitely a family base, like I've... You know, coming here just a couple years ago, meeting you guys in, in the in the weight room, I could tell first off you were lost because you've never been there before. Uh, second off, I could just tell how close you all were, and that's even with the past seniors. I thought that was something special, and and honestly, I can relate to because I'm I'm from Iola, Scandinavia, where we were a small school, and mm-hmm. all those friends are still my friends to this day. So it's just something that I believe to be super special as well. Um, what are some things that you're gonna miss, like the small things that you're gonna miss? About why we get Fremont once you're uh, a big boy. Once I get my big boy pants on. Uh, so when I was in the middle school, I lived in the I was in apartments about 
kind of by the railroad tracks right away. So if I want to go into town, I got to hop my bike and I got to ride over. So put in work right away. Put in the work. Yeah. Go to place would have to be the pool. I mean, they had the baseball thing. They got a basketball court yep. there, a tennis court. Yep. I got to get my journey. Go up. I can pick up all my friends through the way because I'm on the way back. So I go to their house, knock on their door, I say, hey. Do you have pegs on your bike? 100%. Yep. 100%. Pegs. People ride on handlebars. 100%. Just little hoodlums I'm, driving I'm around. I'm going up the hill with three people on my bike. I'm getting the leg workout in. That was the first and last leg workout you ever had, probably. Of course, you of skipped course. legs ever since. I all I did all the work through those last <laughs> those years on the bike. You put the grind in. Yes. Okay. All right. So you're at the pool. That's one of your spots. Okay. What else? The pool. First off, the pool is awesome. Um, I was in Little League Baseball, too. That's where we just crush home runs all the time. Home when we run, came over go there. over the pool, then you got to go find it the yep. next day. You got to see if you can go find your the, home run ball. That's right, man. And then, so what What else? There's got to be, is there anything else besides that, like, any traditions you have that is carried on and you guys are going to miss, or? Uh, so, going to the middle school is always the pool, and then we're, like, high school, you're like, man, that pool, we've been there for three, four years, man. We got to find something else. And after football practice, basketball practice, not basketball practice, football practice, cool. baseball practice, track and stuff, you're like, guys, it's hot. We need to go find somebody and just jump in quick. And the tradition that seniors taught me when I came as a freshman was the black bridge. You go jump off that bridge, you jump right in. Then there's a sandbar. You can go chill in the sandbar, and you just dip. And it's cold, so as soon as you go in, you're like refreshing. So I remember when I first got here, I heard you boys talking about going and jumping off some bridges. And I was more than concerned because I just felt like, man, that's real aggressive just to go jump off a bridge right after football practice. I didn't think it was that tough to go do something like that. <laughs> but then you guys explained to me, like, no, we're jumping in water and it's okay and we're safe. I'm still skeptical and paranoid to this day of that tradition, but I, abso I absolutely understand it. So it's, it's cool that you guys have that. Um, now let's turn our attention to some, like, Witness Warhawk greatness. Um, what are some things you see in the classrooms, hallways, exemplifies what we are as Warhawks? But I'm going to put a spin on that a little bit for, for you, Smalls, because, again, you're, you're on the shot clock. You're, you're leaving. What's, mm -hmm. what's some stuff you're going to miss that was your, your Warhawk fiber? So I'm an energy guy. So uh, Mr. Hansen, he's, he's a scientist stuff. So he, he, knows, he knows how to wow my mind, you could say. He was freshman year he was blowing up he was blowing stuff up and then i with little lighters in a and, controlled and environment controlled yeah because well, we're course, not trying to get mr hansen fired for like, control every stuff everything's yeah. legal it's controlled <laughs> he's got little lighters they're popping stuff off here and he's he's teaching me the, all these little things and it's just that uh atmosphere in the classroom is something crazy like that happened that none of us expect it just brings us all together we're like that is crazy yeah, some engaging just, stuff. Yeah, you want students' engagement, just, like, blow something up real quick. Blow something up. Yeah. Everyone's right there. They got your attention like that. Yeah. For sure. I dig that. Um, what about some favorite times you have had um, just in the past? You're like, man, that's that's something that we did. I'm never going to forget that. Never forget that. Uh, a field trip that we weren't going to do because it was during basketball. It was a leadership one. And there's a Bucks game after. So, you know, all the boys, we had we had to get a plan going so we can go to that. And uh, it was leadership, Milwaukee, long bus ride. Had to take a nap on the way there, of course. Yeah, got to get rested. Leader <laughs> of course, the leadership, the beginning part, you know, we are going place to place. We're walking down to Milwaukee. You got the guys together. You're having fun. And uh, then we get to the bus game after. This sounds like a chaperone nightmare, by the way. Oh, you guys walking around Milwaukee. 100%. Oh, no one wanted awesome. to. We had a... There was, you got a name on the stick, they pulled out, and you're like, God, you have to do you it. You have to do it. You're you like, are tribute. Godspeed. <laughs> you have yeah. to. <laughs> got to watch Giannis drop a Bucks record. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, that was awesome. That's something I'll never get next to. All the boys, I mean, we had Mr. Fazer, Mr. Chase there. Love watching the game with them. They're telling me stories about the old Bucks. You know, I'm never going to be able to get that again. <laughs> Having them dudes just yapping away, and I'm listening. I'm like, what is going on here? You're so. going to get some good color commentary from those, oh, for too. sure. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah, man, I, it's, that's a cool field trip. Um, I think that's something that I, I hope we continue to do. Um, what's, what's one staple, though, um, out of the classroom, but, like, something you're going to just miss as soon? Because i got to paint a picture for you, like, once you're out, they don't let you back in. Especially yeah. you. You're not. You're not ever let I back might get in here. Banned forever. Yeah. So what's something you're just gonna miss? And it could be something as little as anything. But what are you thinking? I'm thinking. It definitely has to be just every single morning, especially on the bus. You come in. You're like, hopefully the guys are here today. You know, hopefully, 
hopefully you get to see everybody. And then, you know, as you get older, you get to drive. So you get to the parking lot, you get to your parking spot, and you're like, hey, hopefully everyone shows up today. And just walking in with everybody, you're like, you know, in your head, you're like, it's just another school day, man. Just get through it. <laughs> but, it, it, I mean, it's flying by, you know. I only got a month left, so uh, that's one of the moments I kind of cherish is just seeing everybody in the morning and be like, guys, let's get through another week. I, I can tell you this is you'll probably never have that experience again where you can walk into one place and see the people you grew up with every single day because mm-hmm. eventually it's just you're going you're gonna to have to get a job. Yep. Like, I, I hate right. to tell you this. You're, gonna ha- you're probably going to have bills. And crazy. I don't know how Taxes. this was going to happen, but you might end up having a girlfriend, maybe a significant other. You have a lot of time. Like, a lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then now, you're not going to be able to hang out with the boys as much. So I'm going to have to plan stuff out now. I can't just... You're going to have to use a calendar, really. maybe. Which Maybe I can get a little notepad. You can, yeah, started. a little scratch and sniff notepad, <laughs> so you're good to go. But I, I, I do see you guys every morning. You're always sitting in the same spot. I'm always having to tell you to clean up after yourself because you're still three years old. Yeah. But a bunch of great kids, that's for sure. All right, so we're going to do a little senior edition here. You know, before we dive in the last segment of this podcast is, like we've hit on a couple times, it's you're on the countdown. What's next for Hunter Smalls Meisenhelder? What are we doing? What's up? I will be taking my talents. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to college. I'm not sure where yet, but I'm for sure – Business analyst is, is something I love. My mom got into it a few years ago, and during COVID, I was at her house a lot, so I got to see her work. And she works from home, which is it was something that I wish I mean, that's what I want. Uh, it's kind of a good gig. Very good gig. Yep. And uh, she does the business analyst stuff. You know, she gets projects. She gets to talk to her stuff on meets and stuff. And if she needs help, I mean, her job was five minutes away, so I feel like that's just something I have. That's what, that's what I want. I got to do a program with her for about a week, so I got to see everything and do it myself. A little internship action. Mm-hmm, that's exactly. Cool. And I'm hoping that. And then this summer I applied for internship at uh, her work, hoping that I can get that. I mean, that put me in the right footsteps to, to chase my career dreams of doing that. So, yep. And, of course, I'm going to be playing at the wreck with old guys in Appleton. You think you're going to run the streets in the wreck and I think, they're going to own you. I think I might. You're going to get boxed just somebody, out so hard. Some old guy's just going to run you right over. Hopefully if someone picks me up, I can show them my talents of, of my passing. Don't know if the shot's still coming back yet. but <laughs> Yeah, it's been, it's been, what, four years since you hit one. <laughs> <Okay. so. laughs> All right, well, last but certainly not least, let's take a moment to recognize the incredible staff who go above and beyond to inspire and educate and empower our students every single day. Smalls, who is a staff member that you just see crushing it every day? bringing positive culture and, and leading the win Warhawk mentality. Who are you going to give your shout-outs to? Shout-out. First one, I'm going to say best librarian in the state, maybe even the country, Mrs. Byer. Uh, hands down, hands down. Undisputed champ. Oh, oh for sure. Every, every time I see her, she's working. She, you know, she does the, the yearbook, so she's always taking pictures. I go in the library. Occasionally, I get a new book, believe it or not. I read every once in a while. Mm, I'm going to fact-check that, but all right. <laughs> I'm in there. I mean, she's work. She's organizing books. She's ordering new stuff. She's line making stuff for everybody. She's doing work for everybody else, and just feel like she really keeps everybody in line. So that's that would be my my top shout out for sure. And if I were to go with a second one, I'd say Mr. Hansen, uh, Mr. Demolition, Mr. Just blow everything up. Yep. Under control, obviously. Yep. Uh, he every time he's in the hallways, he's he's bringing that culture. He's bringing that energy which I feel is why we got me in, get hype, you know. Yeah, I feel like we, we have a lot of fun here. We get work done, but we do it together, and we have fun, and he he's a lead roller of that, and I, I enjoy enjoy what he does. I would agree, buddy. I think those two people are definitely paramount when in leading positive culture when we're trying to do the best we can for you guys to, to make great young men such as yourself. Um, on a personal note, it's always been a privilege coaching you, working with you, trying to ed- educate you as a young man. Um, I think – you picked up a little bit, and we'll see how far it goes. Yeah. But um, it's always been cool seeing you guys from when I first got here, and this is everyone in this in in this, these halls to where you are now as young leaders, and just beyond proud of you. And I wish nothing but success for you guys. And I'm always a phone call away. Thank you. Because I'm not getting on Snapchat. So. <laughs> we'll get you one day. Yeah. No. No shot. <laughs> 
As we wrap up today's episode, I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to everyone who makes our school such a special place to learn and grow. Whether you're a community member, a student, teacher, or staff member, your contributions are truly invaluable and deeply appreciated. Thank you for tuning in, and be sure to join us next time for more inspiring stories and shout-outs from our Warhawk community. Until then, give great effort, care deeply, and always win Warhawks.